is there someone hiding in my office? What's going on? Terrified, confused. Wasim Abu Rakia Einhorn has spent a good portion of his adult life at American University as a student, then later as an IT specialist. He says when he opened the door to his office in Kerwin Hall, home to the School of Public Affairs, to retrieve a left behind laptop earlier this week, he saw a folded up piece of paper on the floor. Not unusual until he opened it. What was terrifying it was what was written in it, and as soon as I read it, like this whole eerie feeling just took over, my heart sank. It shook like, him. He called American University police. And then he asked me, hey, would you like to be escorted back to your vehicle? Which I, of course, took him up on it, because I don't know the extent. Among those who got a call that night was longtime friend Andrew El Elkadi, who is also an American University employee and Palestinian. I had my office checked the next day, like in the morning, to make sure there wasn't something in there. I was like wondering sort of how widespread it was. American University President Sylvia Burwell released a statement that says in part, this vile and dehumanizing act targeting our Palestinian community is reprehensible and will not be tolerated. The office belongs to a staff member who is Palestinian. The statement goes on to say, no act of hate will deter us from supporting community members who are not only feeling the pain and weight of traumatic global events, but also the vulnerability of being subject to hateful acts in our own community. University officials say the death threat shoved under the door of Wasim's office and an anti-Semitic graffiti incident on campus last week have led them to contact the FBI. In Northwest, Jackie Benson, News 4.